All right, good morning. Welcome again to Your Unique Devotion. Uh, this is another long one. It's substantial, so I'm just going to kind of hop right in here. This is uh, John chapter 6, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, verses 41 through 59. It's entitled, Rejected by His Own. So here we go, John chapter 6, starting 41. The Jews then complained about him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we knew? How is it then that he says, I have come down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up the last day. It is written in the prophets, And they shall all be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God. He has sent the Father. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? (laughs) Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your father, fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Now, I did mention before when I actually read, when I was reading through just to kind of ingest it a little bit, um, we're not actually talking about him eating his actual flesh and his actual blood. First of all, he's been gone, so he's not even right here right now. We're left with the Holy Spirit, so you couldn't. What he's talking about here is kind of metaphoric uh, in the, the holy sacrament of taking, of eating the bread and drinking of the wine or grape juice, and it's more of doing that in the remembrance of what has been done for you and, and making that link, that connection to him, that is the ingesting. Part. You're, you're, it's more about what you're ingesting of him into your mind and into your heart, not necessarily into your mouth. So the question that God put on my heart, which just, it stands out fervently, what do you ingest? On, as you go through your day, just think about what sort of things are you ingesting into your eyeballs? What sort of things are you putting into your ears? What sort of things are you touching? What, what sort of things are you smelling? What sort of things are you tasting? You know, what are you eating? You know, what sort of things are you ingesting into your being? Um, are you ingesting God and His direction in, in all aspects of your life? Or are there some things that you probably shouldn't be ingesting? Like, I like Oreo cookies. Uh, probably shouldn't ingest them on a regular basis, but every once in a while, I get one in there. But maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> it's one of those things, it's just an example of something in my life that uh, kind of forces you to think a little bit about things that you normally would think are kind of okay, <laughs> but are they really? And it's not meant to do, you know, I'm not trying to tell you to think of right and wrong. I just want you to acknowledge it 
and build that communication with God. Let him guide you in what you should or shouldn't be doing. On that note, <laughs> I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve today, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. Be careful what you ingest.